thinking I don't that. care, he's old. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, I was waiting for that. I was expecting him to do that game four, game five. He wanted to say something when I got my fourth foul. Um, he should have been saying that earlier on. Um, but, you know, I poke bears. 66, 52, 16 for James. And a timeout called by Memphis. And some words exchanged with Brooks walking the other way. LeBron James had something to say. Well, he said, take all two of these right here for talking a lot. They said, I'm going to give you some more. And it's going to be fun to watch. Making his last basket off the top of Dylan Brooks, and as they went down the floor, they whispered sweet nothings in each other's ears. Yeah. You know, I thought the first game would be a little more chippy than it actually was, so this is kind of what I... Brooks initially on this hit, or you'll see it in a moment, after the stare down by Brooks, and LeBron just wouldn't return the favor. Yeah, but I think on that one, Reeves had a little acting on that. He got hit. He was acting a little bit more. Watch this. Watch. Listen, man, Memphis made me proud tonight. They they went out there under man. They competed. That's as, as a player and a coach. All you can do is ask your players to, hey, just compete. Just they, leave it all out there. Yeah, and they did that. And um, uh, I, I was proud of them tonight because we, we, all, we all thought they were going to lose tonight because we thought the Lakers would be like, hey, man, let's don't come back to Memphis. Let's don't come back to Memphis. And they came out with no energy, zero energy. Kenny talked about it at halftime. They came out with zero energy. They thought they had Lakers across the front of their shirts. <clears throat> no Ja, no Brandon Clark, no uh, Steve, uh, Big Steve. Steven Adams, yeah. And they, like, they came out there, and Memphis just competed.